the latest twist in Ghana's judicial scandal. This week, the country's attorney general sacked 20 lower court judges following allegations of corruption after a video was released by Ghanaian investigative journalist Anas. The film apparently shows a number of judges and their intermediaries accepting bribes to change the outcomes of cases. More than 20 judges were implicated. The events have made it difficult for some ordinary people to trust the courts. To be frank, I have lost almost about 70 to 80 percent trust in the judiciary based on the work that Anas just did. I have actually lost confidence in the judiciary. It's now from this end always, whatever you want to do in Ghana, everything involves in money. And everybody is like, when they have a challenge and when we able to see a lawyer, what I was able to take it is like, you have to bring something down before maybe he can help you, which is not supposed to be the case. And that has done well, but we shouldn't lose confidence in the whole justice system. At least we have to, I mean, have, have, have trust in some of them who are good. Ghana has more than 100 high court judges and 300 lower court judges. So those directly implicated in this scandal are in the small minority. That's not to understate what a huge shock it has been to Ghana's judicial system. The dismissal of these 20 lower court judges is the first step in a process to make good. It'll now be up to the country's chief justice to see whether they could now face criminal proceedings. And after that, there's the huge task of rebuilding public confidence in judicial processes. Now, it must be said that there are a lot of very good judges in Ghana. We, we can all, as lawyers here, personally vouch for the integrity of the majority, in, in, our, in my view, certainly, of the judges operating in Ghana. But there is a question mark over the, 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 the confidence which, with, with which the public will see the system. There's also the issue of what happens to cases that the suspended judges ruled on. As far as the criminal uh, courts are concerned, this is hugely concerning. The idea that an individual who is on remand or uh, be potentially being prosecuted for a serious criminal offence such as murder or rape can go free because of a judge's uh, decision to receive a bribe, that's terrifying for everyone in society. The implications of this scandal are far from over. There are still more than 10 High Court judges who've been temporarily suspended pending a further investigation. And then whether they will all face criminal prosecution. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.